Greetings, I'm Patrick Aronson, Executive Vice President of Westcon in Asia Pacific. Really excited to have you here today and to have my guest with me today, Dean Cunningham. Dean leads the partner organization at Juniper Networks across APAC. He's an old friend and he's recently come back into Juniper and he's gonna to talk to us a little bit today about a few topics. Juniper's new technologies, it's reach out to new channel partners, some of the new approaches it's taking to generate business opportunities for its partners, and of course, the COE partnership that Juniper and Westcon have embarked on today. So really excited to introduce Dean Cunningham. So Dean, um, really excited to have you here today to talk about these topics. Um, we are in a very interesting time in our industry. Digital transformation is a term that maybe it's overused, but the reality, it's happening. We can see it going through the roof. Companies are changing and there's a digital aspect to all of it. And of course, we're in the middle of this pandemic, but we're coming out of it. It's, it's been a very difficult and challenging time for a lot of businesses, but it's also accelerated so much change. My observation and part of my excitement is that Juniper feels like a company that's right there at the forefront of that change with acquisitions, with changing policies, with new programs. Juniper is not your, your, just your old switching, routing, and security company anymore that you know, specializes in, in the big data centers or you know, just in the telco. Of course, I know you guys are still dominant in that space and, and we support you in a lot of those big plays, but really this um, enterprise play and, and this concept of the AI-driven enterprise, what, what's that all about? Yeah, thanks, Patrick. I think the exciting part is, I mean, I've been at Juniper now four months, so I am almost used my new person card up. Um, I think the key thing for me is that coming into the organization, Juniper was known for its historical business, its service provider business, the Halcyon days. In the last 18 months, there's been some really substantial acquisitions, acquisitions around Mist, acquisitions around 128T, around Abstra, around NetRounds. It creates a huge opportunity for us going forward into the new world, but it also allows us to leverage our heritage. So 25 years young, and now looking at how we grow that through our partners. So uh, let me simplify it in regards to, so if I look at the partner organization at the moment and how we're engaging with our partners, some key things for us are transformation, velocity, and growth. So if you look at the AI-driven enterprise, it's around how do we create a smarter network? And that's part of the transformation. So the acquisitions on behalf of Juniper were driven around how do we evolve into where networking is going, about ease of use, about how do we continue to make life easier for our customers, but obviously doing that through a partner organization is we're a 100% partner. I'd like to check to see if you have a good grasp of what Westcon is doing with our COE. And at Westcon, we realized that we needed to bring the technology closer to the partner. So we've built, with your support, a center of excellence, our COE. Do you know much about it? Can you talk about it a little bit for our audience? I think it's exciting. I think the opportunity, if you look at, as you just explained what we're doing, I think the ability to have Westcon as a key partner for us, building and investing, you're right, with the focus on AI enterprise, if you look at the important part of that conversation, it's not just the AI, it's the enterprise piece as well. Enterprise customers like to touch and feel things. They like to see them. They like to make sure they work, that there is that level of understanding and comfort. I think the key thing for us is with those partners that are coming in, you know, when I talked about the three, you've got traditional partners who built the foundation of which Juniper is built on, who are now looking at the new technologies going, okay, I've invested here. How do I move into that new space? Being able to leverage Westcon across the region allows them to come in, use it, experience it, have that, that leveraged. And also one of the key parts for us at the moment is around enablement. So obviously we need to make sure from Juniper's perspective that we're helping the partners by bringing them up to speed. Right. Dean, I'm, I'm glad you have a pretty good grasp about the um, COE that we've set up at Westcon. And you know we're quite proud of it. It's been running for a while and we're really excited to bring Juniper in as a key part of it. You know, the COE's fundamental values are to solve problems for partners and to help them sell more effectively to help them scale um, an investment that would be very hard for them to make on their own and allowing us as a distributor to do that for them so they can then bring their, part, their end users in and demonstrate really what the full capabilities are. It's designed to interact with other technologies that are complementary so that we can show a complete solution set. We find that through the COE, 
Partners are able to shorten their sales cycle, thereby closing deals faster. We also have found many cases where once we got in and started having that discussion with the partner and the end user, we begin to open up new opportunities that we didn't even exist before, discover new pain points within the end user where our technology can come in and help them. You know, for customers who've already deployed a specific technology solution, the COE might help to then expand to add new features or capabilities. So, you know, in this era, a customer success or partner success in a subscription model, um, you really want to get in with a solution that um, allows a partner maybe who's already begun to taste the technology or get a feel for it, demonstrate what more value added features can be and they can then grow and expand it. Our COE has been set up and is managed by all certified Westcon security networking specialists. They've now built some capabilities around AI through their work with Juniper. And so they really help the partners and the end users understand what's possible. And at the end of it, we have very clear takeaways that we set some really good expectations with our partners with regards to each individual customer account that we bring in. We want to make sure that that customer walks away educated, that they've, we've got sales leads and follow-up actions, and that we've got a very clear pathway towards driving revenue. And that really happens in this very well-structured, very well-planned out COE environment. It sits in Singapore, but it, yet it supports the entire region. And that's exactly what we're doing for Juniper across the entire portfolio. So, so yeah, those are, those are a, you know, a, a broad set of uh, deliverables that we get out of the COE, but there's one more, which I also think is really important and which is really resonating with our partners. And that is that um, we've designed the COE to white label it from a marketing perspective in a partner's name. So again, you know, when we talk about partners scaling the distributor's investment you know, with the support of Juniper, we can then put this as a partner-driven experience and then create marketing programs, EDMs, um, call-outs, anything that's gonna generate pipeline around that, but in the name of the partner, leveraging our centralized COE. Uh, and that's really effective a uh, way for partners to create new business, to uncover new opportunities. And all of that is done um, you know, as part of its complete COE service. So it's got the technical pieces, but of course we layer in our marketing capabilities, our data-driven um, uh, pipeline creation and, and uh, lead generation. You know, I think that really is a complete service that helps drive it in and hopefully brings more and more customers to Juniper in the long run. Really appreciate Juniper's support to help make it happen. And I think um, it's a real benefit for all of our partners and customers out there who can use it. Well, that was great, Dean, really appreciate it. And I really wanna thank um, our viewers and our audience and our partners, most importantly, for tuning in and um, giving us a little time to tell you about what Juniper is doing and about how Westcon and Juniper are partnered and about the COE. And I really wanna thank Dean again for making time. Um, it's great having you here and uh, thanks for the partnership. Thanks, Patrick, great to be here and the partnership's going strong. Off we go. Yeah.